What's happening folks, more motivation, happy new year. This video, we're gonna talk about how to get your fitness journey started this year. It's gonna be a heavy video. I'm gonna talk about a lot of things and hopefully by the end of the video, you are signing up for a gym to get started. So the first piece of advice I have for you is to set smart goals, short term and long term. To define a smart goal, the goal is specific to the team. It can go from daily specifics, weekly, monthly, ultimately to the year. You have something that is something that can be measured, right? Which ties in with the time which I'm going to talk about. Something that's attainable. So do you want to lose 200 pounds, but you weigh 200 pounds? That is not attainable. But do you want to lose 30 pounds in a year? That's definitely attainable. Realistic. It has to be realistic, right? And it has to be something relative to your situation. And finally, you have to have a timestamp on it, which is why having weekly goals, monthly and yearly goals are so important, right? You need to have a time when you're done going after that specific goal, okay? So that's the first step, folks. If you follow this formula, you're going to be more likely to stay consistent because what happens is a lot of people set big goals, but they forget about day by day, week by week, and so on, which add up to the big goal that they want. So you want to think small to help the bigger goal. So short-term goals and long-term goals. And to review, the short-term and long-term goals have to be very specific. It has to be something that can be measured. It has to be something that is attainable, realistic, and in a timely manner. That's the first tip I have for you to get your fitness journey started. The second one I have for you is comparison. Do not compare yourself to other people. Everybody you see at the gym, outdoors, wherever you see people, people look how they look because they went through things and they have different experiences than you. So comparing yourself to them is only gonna discourage you and it actually has nothing to do with you. Exercise your mind to know that you only compare yourself to yourself, which makes your journey much easier and which makes your journey solely focused on you. You wanna keep your focus on the goals you set for yourself, short term and long term. So do not compare yourself. If you find yourself on Instagram looking at influencers that may look great and post great stuff but they're making you feel bad you have to unfollow or you have to get rid of those vices to, to get you to feel bad about where you're at you know what i mean stop comparing yourself we all have different journeys there's somebody better there's somebody worse and it's something that is unhealthy long term anyway do not compare yourself that's the second step to getting your fitness journey started this year the third one on the list is having somebody to hold you accountable. So an account and accountability buddy. So it could be two of you that have similar goals or two of you that go to the gym together. You want to pick somebody that is as strong or stronger than you so that it inspires you to keep going on your journey. Somebody to hold you accountable so you don't get off track. If you have good friends that are competitive, you can compete with them in this way to hold you accountable so that you don't sway off the short-term goals and the long-term goal. This is very important. Another way you can get somebody to hold you accountable is a personal trainer, a teacher, a coach, somebody to check in on you, you know, somebody to talk to, somebody to share when you have certain struggles because a year is a very long time and you're going to go through some things along the way. And sometimes it may need somebody to listen, to give you input so that you stay on track and not get in a dark place and sway in a bad direction. So having somebody to hold you accountable is absolutely key. The final one I have for you uh, today is somebody to support you. I know when it comes to fitness, health, and doing something that is great for you, generally, the human population talks smack about it. People think the worst things about being in shape. You got the body positivity movement out there. You got all these different movements, 
yet when it comes to fitness which is actually body positivity people have the most negative things to say about it so just know that in this journey it's going to be tough to have real support so if you find support hold on to it and i mean real support because doing the right thing is not really rewarded anymore so if you can find that support hold on to it it's something we all need and that is something that you all strive for and it's something that's going to help you in the long run be the best version of yourself so find that support will be something great for you to keep you accountable and also to help not only like yourself but to help them as well in their journey so those are the five or those are the four tips i have for you today to help you start your fitness this year and uh i'll give you guys a bonus actually and this one is to not overthink things okay there's a lot of information out there there's so many hacks so many tricks there's an answer to every question and not just an answer multiple answers and this makes a lot of people confused which stops people from taking action so the bonus piece of advice for you is to take action and to not overthink it no matter how many tips and tricks you listen to on YouTube or how many of these tips and tricks you heard from me and you like it none of them will work if you do not put yourself in a position to apply for that gym membership for the month for three months for six to a year to commit to those short-term and long-term goals that you have so stop overthinking it just do it along the process you figure things out don't be scared to make mistakes because mistakes happen to all of us and even still to this day i make a ton of mistakes and i wouldn't change a thing about it because that's how you learn you don't learn by getting things correct you learn by making a lot of mistakes so I hope these tips help you guys so that's actually five now and the fifth one is actually very important because a lot of you overthink it you watch a bunch of videos and take no action it's not going to help you and it doesn't help anybody it doesn't make you a genius the more information you know it makes you a genius the more information you apply so apply this information this year get started in your gym membership you don't got money you can start at home with basic body weight exercises but you can do it at least three to five days a week it doesn't have to be anything extravagant or fancy you just have to get started and be consistent with it because this is a lifestyle but the lifestyle is gonna start this year and this year in little bits each day month week year don't take it too lightly but that's all i have for the video right to review you got to set short-term and long-term goals you got to have some sort of uh, accountability you know to help you stick with it some kind of support you can't overthink things and I, i'm missing the final one you come to me you know it's not coming to me but those are generally the, the tips i have for you that will help you out a lot you know and uh, I hope this video really helped you and uh, yeah so happy new year to all of you uh, make sure to hit that like button subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos and just like you see right now I'm making mistakes in this video but that's okay we all make them and you can't be scared to make them yourself so start this year start and from there you figure things out anyways like always, get better every day, optimize yourself. Happy New Year. I'll see all of you some other time. And uh, if you need anything, comment down below, any questions that you have. And uh, we'll be seeing each other again.